lot of people are already familiar with augmented reality on their smartphones. In fact, if you play Pokemon Go, you already kind of know how this works. But there's a new advanced AR out there. And while it only exists on one phone right now, it has the potential to dramatically change the way we interact with the world through our smartphones. It's called Tango, formerly known as Project Tango, and it's made by Google. So right now, Tango is only available on one smartphone, this Lenovo Fab 2 Pro, a $500 6.4-inch smartphone, which also happens to be Lenovo's first smartphone in the U.S. But this isn't about the phone. This is about how Google and Lenovo have taken this advanced 3D sensing technology and crammed it into something that is still technically a device you can fit in your hands or your pocket. The result is something that feels a little bit experimental, a little bit half-baked, but at the same time kind of mind-blowing. Now there's a lot of hardware that goes into making Tango work. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with cameras in the phone. Normally when you think of cameras in a smartphone, you think, okay, I snap a photo and then I forget about it. But in this case, three of the four cameras on the Fab 2 Pro are advanced sensors that allow the phone to see and map and remember the world around you. There's a 16 megapixel RGB camera, a wide angle fisheye camera, and an infrared emitter. Not to mention the accelerometer, a gyroscope, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 processor that was customized to support Tango, a big battery, and everything else that goes into the phone. So if regular AR creates a relatively flat or static layer of digital information on the world in front of you, then Tango creates a much more immersive environment. Its fisheye camera allows the phone to understand your positioning in a room, and its IR emitter, this little red blinking light on the back, sends infrared beams to an object around you and then lets the phone interpret distances. So when you're playing a game, or let's say you're measuring the wall in a room, the phone is actually seeing and measuring and remembering the information in the room kind of in the same way that you are. Here's an example. You can actually run apps like a home improvement app or a home decorating app on the Fab 2 Pro with Tango, and you can place something like a lamp or a couch or a picture frame in a room and see how it would actually look in real life. There are also some apps that seem pretty silly but are kind of fun, like AR Pets or Bubbles. There's a game called World that lets you plant digital flowers and water them with digital clouds and do all kinds of cool stuff. And you can easily see the educational opportunities with Tango too. The Dinosaurs Among Us app, which was created by the American Museum of Natural History, lets you put dinosaurs in your real life environment and even lets you hang little framed illustrations on your walls. But it's also worth noting the phone gets really warm after even just 20 minutes of using Tango apps. Right now, there are only around 35 Tango apps in the Google Play Store, which isn't many. And based on my experience, the ones that would have been the most useful, like the Wayfair Furniture app or the Lowe's Home Improvement app, were the ones that felt the least intuitive and the most buggy. I can't tell you how many virtual swipes and taps and gestures it took to just try to place virtual furniture in a room to see what it would look like, which is really what the promise of these apps are. So Tango is a mixed bag, but I will say this, most people who I showed these apps to kind of had their minds blown. And it's only the first Tango phone, so there's room for improvement. I personally would not run out and buy this phone just for this, but this technology, if and when it makes its way into other phones, has the potential to be a real game changer. Plus, no AR headset required. Hi, kitty. And crammed it into something that's still there's a cat hair on my phone. <laughs> oh, cute. That actually have the potential to be most useful. Oh, sorry. Let's do that again. I like how I apologize for the door. Sorry about the door. It's kind of a game changer. I mean, it really has the potential to interact, to, to just f up. <laughs>